Hater to Taylor with a 3-2. And he hit him. Or did he? Randall ran down there as if that had hit the bat. The, ch the checking to see if he checked swing. We've seen that called a lot this season. Do you remember Charlie Culberson with the Atlanta Braves? Square yep. on the bunt. They called it on him. He got hit flush in the face. There's no way he was swinging oh, he wasn't the bat. Even close. And it hit him in the face. But did it hit the bat first on the knob? That's the problem. It caught hand. It caught bat. It's up to the umpires to decide. Yeah. I don't think he swung the bat. No, he did. But it might have caught bat and hand. What are they going to decide? Definitely can't be talking about if he swung. No. Take a look. Simultaneous hit. Bat and too bottom close. of the hand for it, me. Because it definitely hit the knob of the bat. You talked about him in the two-strike approach and choking up on the bat. If he hadn't choked up, it would only hit hand. Can you imagine? Which might be broke by now. <laughs> So Grandall, that ball ended up as a fair ball. That meant to Grandall play out the first base. Yeah. And they're going to go to the replay. Wow. To me, it was a simultaneous hit of the bat and the hand all at the same time. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to overturn it. If the call in the field was hit by a pitch, that's what this has to be. Well, I think the ball's dead also, so it can't be an out at first. Because watch after it hits, I think, simultaneously. Yeah. And it comes up. And it hits him in the shoulder. So there's so no that's play. A, so that's a foul. That's ball. a dead ball. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we know that. It's a dead ball. They're trying to decide now whether it hit the bat Give or whether it hit the hand. Matt Lip is our director and Jeff Randolph, our producer. Yeah. I'd love to see that same angle one more time and look at and watch his arm. No, from the. That's one angle, but the other one from the side from the first base side look at his arm and see if he's trying to see if the, you could see Boy. his skin move when the when the ball hit his arm there at the same time that it was hitting the yeah. knob of the bat and you know what's interesting if it had been called the other way they might have had to it'd the be a foul ball that. exactly I mean, I felt the whole time it simultaneously hit the bat and the hand. Hard to change that call. It's no different than a bang bang play at first that go. they call safe and it's too close to call. Well, Taylor's showing Tim Bogart the war wound. Top of the order now and Trey Turner. Runner at first. One out, two run game. Turner, who's already homered, is a tying run. We're in the bottom half of the eighth. Taylor, the runner at first, has good speed. The home run that Turner hit was a high fastball in the strike zone. But these Nationals hitters have consistently gone out of the strike zone on fastballs up. And that was an uh, that was a, a pitch like there. Balls and one strike. Yeah. 
Once again, Ryan Zimmerman is in the on deck circle. He's been there a couple of times, but called back. And, and that's why he's out there now. Guys on base, he's got a chance to tie this game up if Turner gets on to put him up. And remember, as an offense, the more pitches that Hader has to throw, maybe the less effective he is in the ninth. Two balls, two strikes. Runner at first. And he got him. Second strike out of the inning for Hader. Well, a big spot here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. You're down by two runs, and Zim comes to the plate. Ryan Zimmerman, longest tenured member of this team. Leads the Nationals franchise in just about every single category. He opened this park in 2008, hit a walk-off home run here in the 11th inning. He has been the rock for this team, and here he has a chance in this moment right here to do something big. Missed a lot of time with plantar fasciitis. Held the 52 games this year. And just 63 last year with an oblique. He stands in the spotlight here with two down and a runner on. He's the tying run. Their first ever draft pick back in 2005. Number four overall out of the University of Virginia. When he's right, he can hit that ball up in the strike zone. And drive it out to right center. Taylor again the lead at first. Hater to the plate. Hitting 367 versus left-handed pitching this year. And the toughest thing is Ryan has to do right now is calm yourself down. You got a slider that first pitch. You just took the fastball. Trust yourself that you can get the bat to the ball. Boy, all those Brewers on the top step. With two outs in the eighth, they can see the finish line in the distance, but long way to go. The slider really hasn't been a weapon for Hader here in the eighth. No, and that's a respect. He knows Zimmerman can square up a fastball out over the plate. 2 1 now. To me, Zim's got to be ready to go right here. Looking something top of the zone. Get your hands on top. You got Rendon on deck. He doesn't want to get to him. Shattered his bat on the 2 1, and that blooper is going to fall. Runners will be at first and third. That bat died a major hero. Look, he was ready. He just got a ball in at 97. Yeah. But you know what? He was able to get enough of it. Great base running by Taylor, first and third. For your MVP coming up. What more could you want? Zimmerman goes up there in a big spot, walks away with a number two pencil in his hand, and runners at first and third for Rendon. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you have a hitter up who led the major leagues in 126 RBI. Andrew Stevenson comes in to run for Zimmerman. 335 runs batted in with two outs. Led the National League, did the Washington Nationals. Nats down two. Have two on for Anthony Rendon. 
And Hader misses 1 and 0. The Brewers' best reliever against the Nationals' best player. It's the way it's supposed to be. I think Rendon has one of the quickest bats in baseball and his hot zone is down and in. It's over 400 down and in. And the thing for him is he's so disciplined yeah. up there. He's not chasing that pitch up. He's going to have to throw him a strike or he might load him up for Soto. No strikes. 24 pitches now thrown by Hader. Well, this is where Hader's got to be careful right here because you can't just throw one in at 95, takes him off because he's swinging right here. One of the things in the league this year, hitters swinging 3 0. He takes 3 and 1. Rendon, just a great guy to watch at the plate. Very few moving parts involved in that swing. Under control. And this is his pitch at three and one. In the air, but out of play. You know a pitcher's fastball is electric. When you have the count, you know what pitch is coming, and you're still late on it. See haters had to throw 26 pitches here in the eighth. I'm thinking he's doing Rendon a favor if he decides to throw the slider. <laughs> Elevated that fastball. Rendon wasn't going to bite. And they're loaded. Keep the line moving. Juan Soto is 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts. The bases are loaded full of mats. As Jordan Lyles up on the bullpen for the Brewers. Pitch count getting up for Hader. 110 RBI for Soto this year. 42 of them came with two outs. One to Soto. Sails outside. Ball and a strike. The Washington Nationals average better than five runs a game, almost five and a half. Number two in the National League. They've been held in check here in the wild card game. But here in the bottom of the eighth, their best opportunity to turn this game around. Soto hung up. They tag him out, but nobody in this joint cares. Incredible. The Nats take a lead to the ninth.